Ghost on the younger side of our, of our community. I think he's only about 10 men. Yeah, he's uh, he's still on the younger side, uh, from what I recall. And uh, he's been in the community for like, ever since he was 14 or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another yeah. one of the, the kiddies from uh, Smash 4. Yeah, now um, you know, he used to play a lot of the Falco, and now he's playing Roy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think Roy's the main character he's got he right now. He has another yeah. one, though. I can't remember who it is. Uh, I, I, I just I, I see Roy so often. Yeah, I remember Smash 4. He did have a third character. I don't remember what it was, though. So. Yeah, I know he has a second character here in Ultimate. Oh, okay. I okay. asked him about Falco. He said that, like, maybe he'll pick it up. He'll use Falco as a counter character. Mm -hmm. But for, I think it's primarily just Roy. Yeah. I mean, Roy's a very good character anyway, so yeah, you can get far with, like, solo meaning as well. Yeah. So. But you know who also has a really good Roy? Void. Void. Yeah. Void has a very good Roy. I mean... This guy is just good at video games in general. Like you can, you can, you can play any video game. Like have you seen him play Osu? <laughs> have you seen him play Strive? Yeah. Have you seen him play Dragon Ball Fighters? Yeah, literally anything he picks up. <laughs> anything he picks up, he can get good at it. Like it's cra crazy. But let's see. We good to go? You know, I was uh, pool captaining uh, Void Pool <laughs> earlier today, and uh -huh. he was uh -huh. he was pretty much saying how he didn't want to play at all. But you know what that means, right? That means he's gonna win this whole tournament. Because he, he, he just wants to hang. That's he a came, top player, John. He, he came to register. <laughs> he came and registered because he wanted to be here because, you know, spectators aren't allowed. And he was like, oh, I mean, I, I gotta play. We'll see. It's, at, at minimum, it's amazing practice. Mm -hmm. You get good practice. Yeah. And that's really like what these, these weeklies are supposed to be. They're supposed to be um, practice for the regional. Right. You know, the CEO that's coming up. The uh, eventual next saga. That's, uh, that's uh, uh, let's not hype up the audience too much yet. We don't know. Okay, so I have this really fantastic idea for a saga, by the way. <laughs> 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 but we'll talk about it later. Right now, I really just want to talk about Mazer Cyro versus CLG Void. Alrighty, let's see if CLG can get a win. Okay, he's gonna start off with that combo, take him to the ledge. Now let's see where the game start here. Up tilt, actually, to close out. And I like That's the drift back that we saw from Cyro because he knew that after that up tilt, the second hit of the up tilt, the down fingers was gonna come out. And typically, that will combo unless you drift away. Oh, needles. Oh, oh, he's dead. Yeah, he, he didn't even bother. He's just oh. like, okay, I'm nope. gonna air dodge away. Yeah. Next stop. Yeah, Nair was able to catch that jump. Not gonna be able to come back from that. Very great edge guarding and aggression coming from Void to try and steal that stop. Now he's in a great position. Oh, oh the, the drag down. The drag down up air for the mix up. Now, typically, you'll see, like, cheap players just continue to land that up air, and then they'll go for the 50-50, like, okay, I'm on up air again. I'm trying to, like, bait out your air dodge, maybe hit you again. Uh, but he just did a drag down and said, you know what? I'm taking that opportunity out of your hand. All right, up air. Weak up air into back air. Now, that's some, that there is a sign of a fantastic air player. Great lead jump into back air. Uh, is being able to utilize and space your aerials in your attack so that not only do you get the spot, but you know when you're going to get that sour spot and then combo off those sour spots. Yeah, Void has to use a lot of cheap movement to try and bait out a lot of ledge options as Sauro tries to come back, but it doesn't even matter. He takes them all the way to the other side of the stage, closes out with a bouncing fish. He's still in a great lead right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, trying to use the neutral B. We just call you a um, from Roy, which of course traditionally uh, has very low lag, so it's a very good move to just throw out and then see what your punk can do and then react to it. But here you go, you see Syra once again on the hunt, trying to fish for Boyd. Oh, so, well, so many missed texts for Syro, that equals a lot of damage to Boyd to continue. He had a little bit of positioning, let's see how he gets out of this ledge trap. Oh, I love this idea at the stage. It's not, when it lands, it lands. It kills, but if you whip, then that's typically putting you in a bad situation. But even then, Cyro was doing it in a position where Void, um, Void would really have to commit from the ledge. <laughs> so as far as like using side B's at the ledge, I, I feel like it was very smart for Cyro. Right. Okay, grenade comes out. He's gonna go. Ooh, just down to oh, he's to get himself armor through that. Gonna get that up B. Right. Now it may look like. Cyro's losing right now, but anything can happen right now. Oh yeah, especially with Rage. Rage Roy is nothing to, uh, to laugh at, but there he goes. He <laughs> dragged down up air into us match. That's true, by the way. As soon as that up air landed, he was dead. Yep. He might as well put the controller down. <laughs> yeah, gonna be able to close out that stock and take the first game.
Avoid looking a little bit more in the in the zone right now. Doesn't oh, look like he yeah. wants to leave immediately. <laughs> this is this is focused void. This is prepared void. I guess you know what? Sorry, was looking mad focused as well. You can't see him on the camera, but you know I'm looking at him. I can I can see his eyes from here. He is focused. I'll try to, I'll try to listen to yeah yeah. Where I'm trying to hear to what the uh, what the picks are. Yeah, but um, I think as long as uh, Syra knows. Yeah, run it back. That's kind of okay. what I expected. Mm -hmm. I feel like we we were gonna get a lot of run it back from from our players today. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, it's the first day back. I feel like sometimes the, the stage can matter, but I think with these two types of characters, it it, it won't really matter. I feel like they have the similar advantages and disadvantages depending on the stage. Go through, so. Okay, let's see. Get the needles going. Oh, already starts. And great read. It'll take him to the ledge already. Drag down to grab. And of course, looking for the back air, but... Oh! He didn't make it back. He didn't. He was forced to use the up B there, too. If Syro did not up B in the position that he did, he would have gotten hit with the back air, and he would have lost the stock anyway. Yeah. Here we go. Another very offensive start from Boyd. They're okay, getting the space like correctly on the upbeat. Yeah, that was great pressure from Boyd both times actually. Yeah, Forcing it was him the to make same a decision. scenario. Yeah. <laughs> and that just shows how good Boyd of a, how good of a player. Oh! Wow. No, he's yeah, dead. that's, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's a stop. Caught him a little bit too far. Yeah, the way Boyd is able to execute both sides of the stage and bring his opponent into the same scenario twice in a row. That just shows how consistent he is. Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, not going for a second up air. I thought it was maybe Boyd would go for another up air and try, try and get a drag down scenario. But instead, he just continued to go for damage. Just down tilting, just crouching right by his opponent's shield. What kind of confidence do you need to have to have that positioning? I mean, Sheik's crouch is one of the best in the game. Do you see how low she can get on that? And honestly, with the way that she, that Boyd was positioned, like, uh, back air out of shield actually would have win. Yeah, it really uh, takes away a lot of Roy's oh, out of shield oh. options. Oh, Needles, not quite going to get it, we'll get it. Oh. Okay, he went for it, he went for it, he went for it. Man, I wish that uh, that hit so that we got a huge clip and then we could end up in a BP Smash Dudes video, but not today.